In the words of Justice Kennedy, without which we wouldn't be here today, no union is more profound than marriage, for it embodies the highest ideals of love, fidelity, devotion, sacrifice, and family. I'd like to thank the Knot for having their first same-sex wedding. In forming a marital union, two people become something greater than once they were. Marriage embodies a love that may endure even past death. These two women respect it, and they respect it so deeply that they seek to find its fulfillment for themselves. I've seen Elena experience some incredible highs and some lows, etc. But even when she was experiencing her greatest highs, no matter what they may be, there always seemed to be an emptiness, a hollowness, a lack of true love of what she was doing. Amanda, you have filled that. I have never seen Elena this happy, this fulfilled in my entire life. And Elena, what you should do is look at her right now and quote the great Dr. Evil and say, Amanda, you'll complete me. May your marriage bring you all the exquisite excitements a marriage should bring. And may life grant you patience, tolerance, and understanding. May you always need one another, not so much to fill your emptiness as to help you to know your fullness. May you have happiness and may you find it making one another happy. May you have love and may you find it loving one another. With this ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. With my body, with my body, I the honor, I the honor, and all my worldly goods, and all my worldly goods, with thee I share, thee I share, with this ring, with this ring, you wed, I do wed, and with my body, and with my body, I the honor, I the honor, and all my worldly goods, and all my worldly goods, with thee I share, with thee I share. Uh, Elena, the thing that I'll always cherish most about you though is how much you love Amanda unconditionally. Congratulations. Let's get to the dance floor so you guys can see the usher dance moves Amanda used to practice in the mirror. Elena at some of the happiest moments in her life. I was there when um, she took Delaware past UNC to go to the Sweet 16. I was at the ESPN studios the night that she was drafted second overall to go to the WNBA. And I was visiting her in Chicago when she got a call from the president of the WNBA to say that she was going to be named MVP of the league. And I have to say that even seeing Elena in all of those moments, the happiest that I see her is when she's with Amanda. So I want to make a toast to continued happiness continued laughter and continued love for the rest of your life. Thank you.